this video, we find out if there was a Dafuk boom in this episode. Who owns this lab and where the people are from? How did these agents come to be in this place? What's going on with the restrooms here? Why did the black speakerman close the door on the agent? Why can't the speakerman hold on and flexi? This and much more in this video. So be sure to watch the video to the end so you don't miss the interesting moments. And also make some tea and get some cookies. Have a good appetite, everyone, and enjoy watching. Let's go. And so hi, everyone. Episode 69 of Ski Bitty Toilets is out. This episode we have been waiting for nine days. There were three spoilers. One on December 22nd, December 23. With the help of the second spoiler, we were 100% sure that the 69th episode will consist of several parts. Guys, thank you so much for putting likes. At the moment, I'm planning to create a video about cameraman falling in love. Want to understand? where he is now, because after the second part of the 57th episode, we haven't seen him anywhere else. If you are interested in this topic, let's get under this video. 4,000 likes, I'm sure we can do it, since our record is 35,000 likes. If there are newcomers among you, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to not miss new videos. Alright, let's get to episode 69. I hope you've had time to grab some tea and cookies. Let's go! Traditionally, let's see what Defouk left in the description. Under his video, it says that the squad is going through the bottom floor, so now they are on the lowest floor, and there are a lot of interesting details about this floor. Soon we'll have it all sorted out. Plunger Man is attacked by a ski bitty toilet. He gets another look at this. Unfortunately, this toilet hurts. Plunger Man as its claw went through Plunger Man's left palm. Then our cameraman pushes this toilet away. He hits it with a plunger, but with spikes. We also notice the spikes on his hand. The same improvement he made on the plunger. And it's not even a plunger. It's a mace or a rasp. And when Plunger Man finally kills the toilet, he notice the skeletons of people. Look at the bottom right corner. It's clearly a human skeleton, but without the foot of the palm. Also a human skeleton we noticed on these frames. But here he was wearing clothes. Clothes of a scientist. Most likely this base belonged to people, and ski bidairs captured it and now use it for their own purposes. And yes, by the way, about people. We were shown them only in the initial episodes, and after the infection they disappeared. And after so many episodes, we are shown at least a hint of them. Then we see a parasite that wants to infect our agent, but all the parasites have been destroyed. That was the last one. Let's count how many agents we have in total. Ten in total, but there are two more agents, which there shouldn't have been, because when they went into the bunker, there were only eleven, and that's not so strange. In episode 30, we also noticed an agent in the ski biter's lab, but there they were in the role of hostages, and it wasn't experimented on, and I think these agents had the same fate. Next, we notice rooms like in prisons, and in them we notice ski beady toilets, and under cool music agents go further. Well, and on the left we notice a toilet, which is fried, most likely on it are conducted experiments, as on the right we notice a lamp. I think ski beaters want to make a toilet that would be invulnerable to TV woman and in general, like fire, would be fireproof. Look at this. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but in this freeze frame here, his toilet has a mustache. On the right, we also notice a ski beady toilet that is shaking. On the left, another hint of a man. A cameraman in red opens the doors, and with his device hereby noticed in the form of toilets that have already turned into skeletons. That's where they get the technology to turn ski biters into skeletons. They throw them in a dark basement and don't feed them. They lose weight and gradually they become skeletons. Then they improve them and send them into battle. Okay, just kidding, but it's entirely possible. All agents walk normally, except the spikery and their flexia. Oh, they shouldn't have done that. On the left at the Sky Biter's base, we notice some cylinders, but what substance is inside is still unknown. On the right, we see a large gate. That's probably where their equipment is coming from. Oh no, the cameraman's head, a hybrid EPD toilet destroyer. Cameraman's head, as we can see, it's not affected by the perialyzer cannon, so it gets a rough on the head. It stopped the plungerman's blows and wants to counter-strike, and he does. But the black speakerman intervenes, then he gets a control strike. This hybrid ski biter won't bother them anymore. The speaker man agrees. The explosions are action packed that someone has opened up all the prisoners' toilets rooms. Good that Cameron in red had time to close the doors. He himself is already in another place, and he calls everyone to him. Plungerman ran to him, but behind him all the agents. On the left, we notice a protected Skybiter. His eyes are protected from hypnosis, and his ears from the super sound of the speaker ermine. Toilets of this type are very difficult to destroy, which toilets we noticed before. Everyone had time to run to the cameraman in red, except for the speakerman. They for some reason decided that now it's time to celebrate the victory, and began to flex. 
They are being destroyed by Michael Skibidi Jackson's toys. Jackson's distinctive sounds. The twins, the black speaker man stays behind to protect us. But the speaker man doesn't protect, but immediately flies away. To the warehouse in the jack pack, there are four agents in front of us, and Plunger Man is the fifth. The twins are behind. They are injured as something exploded in front of them. Spearman takes the device from cameraman to save the rest of the agents. Plunger Man, of course, is against this as there are still two agents left. Unfortunately, Skibidi Toilets destroyed the twins. The doors are closed. Speakerman returns the device. They were saved but lost two fighters. Plungerman gets angry, or can't imagine how Plungerman went to such a step. Plungerman doesn't answer him, he just gets up and leaves. Most likely Plungerman also realized that they had no other choice, and thus Plungerman says goodbye to the toilets. There are five agents left in total. Next we see a yellow glow. We cannot say exactly what it is, but we can guess. But one of my subscribers thinks that this is the core of Gaman. Let's see if it is true or not and we will find out in the second part of the 69th episode. I personally have no idea what it could mean, but I knew one thing Da Fook Boom told us in confidence. After the 70th episode, there will be so much epic that you will not show little, and I somehow think that after the 70th episode, Da Fook will add new races. And by the way about him in the series, as we realized, there was no Da Fook Boom in this series, and not even a hint of it. So I wonder what he's up to. And by the way, if you have any theory, and if you want to get into the video, you can post in the comments. And those who watch the video to the end, I will tell you the secret information about my game. As many know, I released a week ago a game about Ski Beatty Toilet. The game is called Toilet Only Up. And so, the honor of Christmas and the New Year, I made you a gift. And in the next update, I will give you chips and skin. With the help of chips and skin, you will be able to achieve new records and you can finally beat my personal best. And my record in the game is 180 seconds. Also in the future, we plan a lot of things. Online, daily bonuses, character creation, and so on. And all the basic ideas will be taken from the comments, which will gain a lot of likes. Let's say recently someone wrote me to add a map floor as lava. I immediately listened. Soon, of course, we will add this map, where the lava will gradually rise, and you will need to save yourself. But this, I think it's time to finish the parsing. See you in other videos, bye. And at the end, I recommend to see the other dismantling about the mysterious cameraman in red, as well as about TV Man Titan. That's it. Bye for sure now.